currently um, Indian agriculture is is very diverse, right? Uh, we have a, a very wide range of agricultural production systems, but let's say the largest part of uh, the Indian production of rice, wheat, of these major commodities that are also feeding in the public distribution system is based on a very, very, um, let's say, conservative uh, way of uh, doing agriculture, um, very technology driven and um, uh, very strong input driven. Now, this is, um, of course, has its toll on the environment and we have to move towards more uh, sustainable uh, agricultural practices. Um, and of course, at the same time, we have to bring in, bring the smallholders more into the production system. So a lot of um, approaches for this are ex existing. Diversification of crop choices, right? In certain states, for instance, Odisha, where IFAD is also working, uh, the government is shifting a lot of the main commodities that are part of the, the, the government programs towards millets. And uh, millets, um, well, in, in India, we are talking about a revival of millets. Millets are not new. They have been just forgotten because they were the traditional foods. And they are coincidentally very nutritious. They are very well uh, adapted to climate change and they um, deliver to those who grow them uh, a much more resilient production basis because they need far less water and they are far more tolerant to uh, weather variations than, uh, than are the, the other crops that, are, that have been replacing them in the, in the past. First of all, we have to really think of the crops that we are growing. Right? Like there are crops that uh, draw a lot of water from the from the soil, and uh, we have to be aware that uh, that this is uh, part of the, the assets that go into the production. Um, so, water saving crops like pulses, like millets, um, are are the way to go in the long run in water de deficit areas. can do a lot to uh, create a much better microclimate on farms uh, by uh, putting a shade cover, by, by um, combining trees with uh, smaller crops, uh, crop combinations that are coming closer to an agroforestry system um, and that is uh, much closer to the natural conditions. Another set of uh, conditions, for instance, or, or technologies, um, and I'm talking now about one of the driest areas in the world, Australia. Uh, you know, where, where also 99% of the uh, farming is rain fed. Uh, how do they do it? They have shifted long time ago to conservation agriculture. So they, are, um, they have abundant tillage or minimized tillage um, because uh, leaving the, the, the soils in their natural, uh, um, in their natural geoecological condition um, gives these soils a much better water retention capacity uh, than uh, when we uh, plow them every year. So um, there are many, many uh, technologies like this uh, that uh, can be combined and that can have very, very good effects on rain-fed agriculture, make it much more resilient and adapted to climate change, but also um, save the water for, for other uses uh, that humans may have.